Hi guys, um, so I want to go over a quick little technique to show you. Um, came from a question on a help forum. Someone basically had uh, shapes similar to these and they had this detail here sticking out the sides and they basically wanted to copy it up to here so that they had the same detail. And because they're working at an angle, they didn't know how to do it. Um, and there's two ways and I'm going to show you both of them now. Okay, so if I just hide this one for now and we're just going to work on this one first. This one was made from a three-sided cylinder to turn into a sort of triangular tube or a Toblerone tube and then just chamfered at the, on all three points. Um, because this one is essentially an equilateral triangle, um, it means that the, ignoring the fact that this is flat, this is a three-sided three triangle, uh, it's 60 degree angle. So if we rotate this, it will, we can get this part here to be completely flat like this part. Um, to do that, though, we do need to adjust where the origin point is. At the moment, it's centered, It's uh, at the base of the model. Um, and I use an add-on called Interactive Tools, and Interactive Tools comes with a quick origin, which I've got set to Alt-S. It is a free add-on um, that you can find online. And the good thing with that is you can just select two things, and it will give you the average between them. So if I select those two edges and press Quick Origin, it will put it right in the middle there. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to rotate this on the y-axis, y and you can see in the top left corner there, it tells me how much, and it's exactly 60 degrees, which is what we'd expect. Uh, so this is now flat, and we can now mirror this. Uh, we do need to actually get this to be in the center, though. So if we go to here, snap, selection to cursor, that is now perfectly in the middle. And we can just apply a mirror modifier. Actually, sorry, one second. Just need to apply this uh, rotation. And now if we put a mirror mo modifier on there, click bisect so that it goes across. And apply the mirror. And then if we want to, we can go back 60 degrees. Put the origin point back in the right place. And selection to cursor. And we've got the finished result there. We can tidy up the topology later if we need to. Um, I'm not bothering for the point purpose of this. And then if we wanted to as well, we could also, again, if I apply the scale, put another mirror modifier on, and we've got it on both sides. Um, and if you see my other video on rotational mirrors, you can also uh, get it on the third side if you want to. Uh, but we're not going to bother with that. Uh, if I hide that one now and bring back the other model, this one's going to be slightly different, so I'm just going to snap this to the cursor so we can work in the, in the right place. Uh, and the reason this one's different is because this was extended deliberately um, to a random height so that this angle is not something that we can easily adjust and fix. Um, to do this, uh, for this one, what we need to do, uh, if we go in here, we can select, say we select these two faces, we can do cursor to face, and you'll see that that orients the cursor to this direction. What we can then do is go up here and change this to cursor. And if we select, uh, hold on, sorry, just a second. Just gonna select this. We can now shift D to duplicate. And if we select the x-axis, we can move that along this model in that direction. Uh, now, if you want this to be an equal distance, as say this part here, you can also use this to measure things out. So say we select this and we shift D, it's on the x-axis. We can move this along here. And if we select that vert, we can snap that to that vert. And then we know exactly where that loop cut there needs to be. So if we just move this one up as well, perpendicular to there, we can delete that one for now. And if we select this and this vert, we can now snap that to there. And we know that that is in exactly the right place and we then just need to um, fit that into the geometry just by deleting the faces and rebuilding the topology. 
and that's really all there is to it. So you can just use the 3D cursor to work at angles. Um, and then again, you could either mirror that over um, or try and do the same detail on the underside. Thank you for watching and take care.